Welcome to Channel 42, where we talk about life, the universe, and a little bit of everything. This is another Factorio NoobTube video, and uh, this is really the kind of 101 class where we're just learning about how to do things. Um, what I'd like to cover is, is a little bit of this quick bar. Now, you will notice you've got numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, and these empty blocks. I've dropped things in here because this is some of the early stuff that I use. Eventually, I'm going to want things like my transport belts in there and I press E to get rid of that main inventory window. Um, Q, of course, like I mentioned, gets rid of whatever you've got in your hand. So now, instead of opening up inventory, pressing that and dropping the belts, I can just press that and drop the belts there. Now I've got a video, a different video to talk about belt behavior, so I'm gonna leave that for the other video. Look on my channel um, under NoobTube video playlist. But what I'd like to talk about is, is setting these up. So in the early game it's not as important you can have your coal you can have different things that are helpful if you click on this box of course you'll see this is an empty box you'll see all of the different possibilities that you'll unlock as you do more research under logistics production intermediate products and combat for now don't get overwhelmed by all of that that's end game stuff that's much much later you'll unlock those gradually as you go so just worry about what you recognize or don't even worry about clicking on that just drag the things that you need from here down to here. So it would be like stone furnace or lab recipe or things like that that you've made that you can drop down there. And that gives you quick access to these. Now, I like to run with four of these, but if you press Escape, Settings, and Interface, you can change how many quick bars you have to three, two, or one. If you select one, then you've got some more screen real estate, and you've just got the one bar. The other nice thing, if you click on the number down here, you can change up to 10 of them, 1 through 0, of course, and, um, and you can set each one. Maybe you're only doing belts at one point. Maybe your number 4 is rails that you get into later, and you switch to number 4 and you do build your rails, and so on and so forth. Again, I like a little bit more. Um, the other part of the user interface that I want to go over briefly is this right side. Now, most of this is late game stuff or mid to late game stuff after you get robots. Uh, blueprints aren't as useful early game. Deconstruction planner, again, that's robots. Upgrade planners, robots. This is once you get power armor, some really useful stuff. By robots, there's these little drones you get late game that can build the factories for you, reproduce the stuff. I always recommend trying to get there before you restart. Um, unless it's just a totally lost cause and you feel like you have to restart early, that's fine. But once you get to robots, things really get fun and you can recover from a lot of uh, base mistakes. So uh, the one that I would definitely recommend is this little button right here. That's Alt mode. And you can, of course, get there just by pressing Alt on the keyboard. But Alt mode, what that does, you'll notice here on the boiler, it takes away the indication of what you're expecting. You can bring it back by hovering, but that's water in or out, water in or out, and steam out. You press Alt and it stays there. Up here, same thing. You've got the arrow and it tells you what's in the box. So Alt allows you to see inside the box without having to click on it. Um, also, when you get to assembling machines, which I'm not there yet in this game, you can see what that factory is producing. Again, there's some really interesting things I recommend just playing around with under settings and interface. Um, some of these things are really useful and um, like, uh, again, those active quick bars. Um, some of these are like train stop, but the other one is you can tell the inserter to show its arrows in alt mode, show pump arrows in alt mode, show mining drills, which I've got turned on, and show combinator settings. Uh, combinators are uh, circuits that are much more advanced, and you'll get into those later. Um, definitely one of the funnest parts of Factorio, and um, can be used to do just about anything. But that's some, some highlights of the interface. I recommend you open that up, play around with it, see what you like. Um, next video, I'll, I'll go over some of these buttons up here. And of course, there's the minimap. That's pretty self-explanatory. You can also get to the minimap by pressing M. Uh, of course, as you um, zoom in, you can see what you're able to see there. And as you get radars, you'll be able to expand that field of or, or dispel more fog of war and view from further out. Uh, and that's a really, really nice feature with uh, radars that, that um, recommend getting lots of radars around your base, but they are big power drops. So long and thanks for all the fish. See you in the next video.